hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on number bases and today we are going to look at multiplication so we go to problem one so in problem one we are to evaluate the following in the given basis we have one zero one one zero one base two times one zero one base two b 713 base 8 times 23 base 8. So we start from the A part of the problem. So we are going for expanded multiplication. So we start with this divisor 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 0, 0, and 1 times 1 gives 1. So since this is our multiplier, we started arranging the answers from under the multiplier. So we take this 0 as our multiplier again. 0 times 1 gives 0. So we start recording the answer for under 0. 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 1, 0, 0 times 1, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 1, 0. Then we are done with this 0 as multiplier. We pick this 1 again as multiplier. So we are going to start recording our result under the 1. So 1 times 1 gives 1. 1 times 0 gives 0, 1 times 1 gives 1, 1 times 1 gives 1, 1 times 0 gives 0, and 1 times 1 gives 1. So we fill in this space, fill in this space, here fill, fill in this space. Then we add 1 plus 0 plus 0 gives 1, 0, 0, 0, add them, 0. 1 plus 1 gives 2. So 2 is in base 10. To convert it to base 2, we say 2 divided by 2 gives 1 remainder 0. We write the 0 carry 1. That 1 plus this one gives 2. Again, we write 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 gives 2. We write 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 2 plus the one we have carried gives 3. 3 divided by 3 gives uh, 1 remainder 1. So we write the remainder and carry the quotient, which is also 1. So adding that 1 to these zeros, we have it as 1. And 0, 0 plus 1 gives uh, 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 multiplied by 1, 0, 1 gives 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1 in base 2. So that is the end of the solution to problem A. So we go to problem 1B. 713 multiplied by 2, 3. Again, we are going to expand the multiplication. So here 3 times 3 gives 9. So we cannot have 9 as a digit in base A. So we convert it to base 10. We say 9 divided by 8 gives 1 remainder 1. We carry 1 and write this uh, 1. So we write 1 and carry this 1. Now 1 times 3 gives 3. 3 plus the one we are carrying here gives 4. So we have it as 4. 3 times 7 gives 21. 21 will be converted to base 8. So 21 divided by 8 gives 2 remainder 5. So we are going to write, carry 2 and write 5. So we write down the 5. Since the 2 we are carrying has nothing to be added to it, so we bring the 2. That is the first part of the multiplication. Then the second part is to use these two as multiplier and start recording the result under the 4. So 2 times 3 gives 6. So we have it as 6. 2 times 1 gives uh, 2. 
so we have 2 2 times 7 gives 14 so we have a 14 divided by 8 gives 1 remainder 6 so we carry this one and write 6 so we have it as 6 so since this one we carry has nothing to be added so we bring in the 1 now we are going to add so 1 is here 4 plus 6 gives 10 so 10 divided by 8 gives 1 remainder 2 so we are going to carry 1 and write 2 so we have 2 here 5 plus 2 gives 7 plus the one we carry 8 so 8 divided by 8 gives 1 remainder 0 we carry this one and write this uh, 0 so we have a 0 here 6 plus 2 gives 8 plus the one we carry here gives 9 so we have 9 divided by 8 here giving us 1 remainder 1 so we are writing this one and carry this one that one we carry now plus this one gives 2 so in base what 8 so 713 multiplied by 2 3 base 8 gives 21021 one base 8 so we are done with problem 1 we go to problem 2 Problem 2, we are also to evaluate each of the following in the given basis. 1101111 one, one, one base 2 multiplied by 111 one, one, base 2. B343 three, three base 5 multiplied by 33 three base 5. So we start from the A. Starting from 2A, we are going to expand the multiplication. So we are uh, multiplying starting from this one as multiplier one times one gives one one times one gives one one times one gives one then one times zero gives zero one times one gives one one times one gives uh, one and uh, since it is going to be giving us one 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 zero one one so we can just say under these two we have this one 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 this is this three ones then you have a zero one one then under this one we have one 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 this these are the one one ones we have there then zero one one again we are going to add so let's fill in these uh, spaces here we fill we fill this fill this so now before we go ahead we want to look at i don't mean we have two three four in our summation how are we going to resolve it like here now two divided by two gives one remainder zero we will be carrying uh, one and write this uh, zero we have a uh, three divided by two gives uh, one remainder one we'll be carrying this one and write this one assuming we have four four divided by two gives two remainder zero we will carry these two and write this zero and uh, finally we have five divided by two gives two remainder one so we carry this and write one so let's continue our addition from here now this will serve as our guide in our conversion so one plus zero plus zero gives one one plus one gives two there we write zero and carry one write zero carry one one plus one two plus one three plus the one we carry here gives four so here we are going to write uh, zero and carry two so we write zero carry two that two we carried now plus one three plus one four again we are going to write zero and carry two so we write zero carry two the two you've carried plus one gives three plus one gives four again we write a zero carry two so that two plus one three plus one four again we write zero carry two the two plus one three plus one four so you write zero again and carry two that two plus one gives three 
So the 2 plus 1 gives 3. So we write 1 and carry 1. So we write 1. Since there's nothing to be added to the 1 we are carrying, we just put down the 1 there. And uh, we have our result as 11000001 base 2, which is the result of multiplying 11011111 base 2 by 1 1 1 base 2 so we go to 2b so we have a 3 4 3 base 5 multiplied by 3 3 base 5 so again expand our multiplication here we have a 3 times 3 gives 9 so we say 9 divided by 5 gives 1 remainder 4 we are carrying 1 and we are writing down the 4. So we have 4 here. 3 times 4 gives 12 plus the 1. We carry 13. So 13 divided by 5 gives 2 remainder 3. So we write 3 and carry 2. So we have it as 3 here. 3 times 3 gives 9. Plus the 2 we have carried that gives 11. So 11 divided by 5 gives two remainder one we carry two and write one so the one comes here since the two we are carrying has nothing to be added so we bring down the two now we are done with multiplying the second three by three four three so if you look at it since we are going to have the same result if we multiply by this second three again so we can just bring in the values we have already obtained here so that's going to be four three one and uh, two so from here we are going to add so four plus zero here gives four three plus four gives seven so we say seven divided by five gives one remainder two so we carry one and write this two so we have two here one plus three gives four four plus the one we carried here gives five so five divided by five gives one remainder zero we write the zero and carry one that one we carried plus this two gives a three three plus one gives a four we have a four and there's nothing to add to these two we have our answer as two so the result of multiplying 3 4 3 base 5 by 3 3 base 5 is 24024 base 5 and uh, that is the end of the solution to problem 2 and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed our tutorial please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel oninab resources like and share this video until we come your way again we say goodbye